Mi set. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, if you don't know me, I'm a huge fan of cattle dogs. And to prove that, here's my cattle dog. This is Jack. He's a 11 year old blue healer and he's gonna help me with today's video. Before this video starts, I, this is not the dog in the video. There, there she goes. This is Callie. Um, I just wanna mention that I tried out using these microphones that I have. It's like a little clip on microphone for this video. And it kind of messed with the, the quality a little bit. So um, bear with the audio in this video. It's a little, it's weird. It's kind of like echoey, but it's not, it's not super bad. It still sounds pretty much the same. And it actually did do a pretty good job of cutting out the background noise behind the camera. But uh, I just want to let you guys know that the audio was a little messed up in this video, but besides that, the whole video is fine. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, bye. So today's video is actually about the Australian cattle dog or otherwise known as the blue healer, the red healer, or the Queensland healer. So Jack here is a blue healer. And one of the ways you can tell is this grayish blackish coat and even this little black eye patch on his eye. He won't look at the camera for me, but that's besides the point. The red healers are almost the exact same build. Wow, this, this is a nice position, geez. The red healers are almost the exact same build, but they're just red and they're brown, tan, you know, kind of different coloration. Um, I wish I could show you his paws, but I don't think he's going to let me. Actually, if you look right here, see how he kind of has a little bit of brown under fur? Yeah, that's kind of the color of a red healer. They also have this like reddish brown mask on their, on their head. And that's one of the ways you can tell it's a red healer. They also go by the Queensland healer, which is actually where they're from, Australia. So these dogs are very muscular built. Um, they stand their ground. A healer actually comes from, they like to nip heels, even small children, but mainly cattle because these are herding dogs. And coming from Australia, they're kind of built for the heat. Honestly, it's about 80, 85 degrees out right now. Thankfully we're sitting in the shade, but he has no problem at all. Do you bud? These dogs are also very smart. They rank uh, number 10 on intelligence in dogs and they form very strong bonds with their owners. They like to stick side by side. They're not the most cuddliest dogs like, you know, a golden retriever, but they do love being around and being involved. And if you're thinking of getting a healer or a cattle dog, keep in mind, they're so energetic. This guy needs to go for walks, needs to get outside, all this stuff. So if you're not built for that, which really should be for any dog but if you're not built for that definitely maybe don't consider a cattle dog they need constant constant attention and um you know action i mean they're just very active dogs and they love running they actually can be very well in dog sports one of my wow this is this is real not thanks thanks can you sit no okay so with that intelligence actually comes a lot of stubbornness. These guys are so stubborn. I can't get him to sit where I want. Like, he's just very like, oh, well, I'll sit right next to it or I'll sit right over here and he won't sit exactly where I want him. So it comes a little competition, but they're really great dogs. Now, one of my favorite facts is that these guys are somewhat closely related to dingoes. Um, you can tell a little bit from the ears and the tail which I'll show you in a bit. That's for another part coming up. Back in the 1800s, a man named Thomas Simpson Hall brought blue speckled collies over from the UK and breeded them with dingoes, creating the Hall's Healer, which is like the first origin of, of these guys. All right, with this lovely shot of his face, I had to move the camera because we we're having some technical difficulties. But one of my favorite parts about these guys is they actually, although tail docking is illegal in the US, um, you'll notice a lot of healers with this kind of nub of a tail and a lot of them lose it when hurting it gets stepped on and you know sometimes they lose their tail but Jack actually has a perfect example of what most cattle dogs would have for a tail and it's actually very similar to a dingo can you come here can you come here good boy now if I can get him to step ahead a little bit there we go perfect example of what a tail they most cattle dogs would have and um, 
Another really cool thing about these dogs is they live, okay, bye. They live up to about 12 to 14 years, sometimes longer. Jack is 11. They remain really healthy until their final days. I mean, like, you can see in this dog, physically, he has nothing wrong with them, really. I mean, he's had a couple leg injuries throughout his life, but not, not like, super bad, and they don't seem to bother him today anyway. And I think that's going to wrap up this video. If you think about getting a cattle dog, highly recommend. They're really great dogs, they're really smart dogs, and they're very obedient dogs. I have times where I can let him out, but I leave him on our front lawn and I sit out with him. And he doesn't go after anybody. He doesn't go after joggers, after, okay, there he goes again, after any um, other dogs, people walking their dogs. So they're really, really just good, smart dogs, and they're great. And if you're a single owner, even better. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's going to be kind of a shorter one than my last one. But um, I want to tell you guys, tell you guys a little bit about my favorite dog breed. And what better example than my own. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks. It really helps. It really does. It really supports me. And I really, really appreciate it. But you want to say bye? All right. I'll have to bring the camera to him. There he is. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye? Thank you.